On each of the walls of the entryway, you will see light fixtures that are hardwired, compact fluorescent fixtures. All interior lights are of this same specification and save more than 60% electrical usage over standard incandescent bulbs. As you step into the lounge area, you will see large opening windows that let in the benefits of natural light. You may also open these same windows to allow fresh air to fill the room. Even the upper windows are accessible to open with a long-handled crank. As you look up, you will see a large fan with a control panel at the column close to the entry hall. This allows you to circulate the air in the room for heating and cooling along with the operable sash. The combination of high and low windows allows for better ventilation during summer months. Please be conscious of open windows during the winter and colder season and keep them closed if the heat is on. All of the appliances here are Energy Star rated for high efficiency in power and water usage. The backsplashes above the wall counter use a glass tile product. The open beam natural wood ceilings, 13 feet above the floor, open the room to the views of the site. Composting and recycling bins have been built into the kitchen cabinetry. The two overrange microwaves incorporate a venting system that draws air from the cooking area to the outside and pulling fresh air from the entry area. Walking back toward the entry, you will see a fire panel that protects the building and occupants from smoke and fire if either should occur. The state-of-the-art panels are wired together in the village and also back to the main campus building to continually monitor your safety and well-being. The study area is separated from the lounge by a cabinet and a large glass wall. This gives a quiet area for group or single studying away from the rooms. Each of the floors has one of these study areas centrally located to a group of four room units. Indoor environmental quality is protected with the direct combustion venting for the natural gas heaters. These heaters supply hot water for the radiant floor system as well as for domestic water through a heat exchanger and a circulating water system that is timed to turn off when demand is lowest. These highly efficient Energy Star washers and dryers were chosen for your convenience and to save energy and water. Pay very close attention to the use guidelines, including soap amounts and water temperature. Front-loading washers require a tiny fraction of the soap used in standard machines. If too much soap is used, clothes are not able to be fully rinsed and the residue sticks to the inside of the drum. This residue, along with any moisture, can enable mildew growth in the drums if they are kept shut in between uses. Therefore, use minimal soap and allow the drums to dry in between uses. The high efficiency spin cycle removes much more water than typical washing machines, so the drying time is much less. Walking up to the next floor, you will find a fire exit door in the stairwell. This is for fire exit only, as it is equipped with an alarm that sounds when opened. This is for your security protection. As you enter into the room unit, you will find a natural product on the bedroom and bathroom floor that is produced with a natural linseed base. In the bathroom, you will find a highly efficient commode with a dual flush option. Notice that pushing the lever down uses 1.1 gallons per flush and pulling the lever up uses 1.6 gallons per flush. Think before you flush and choose the right option for the job. The shower has a reduced flow device to conserve water resources and the lavatory faucet is a very high efficiency model as well. There are exhaust fans in the bathroom that run on low speed 24-7 to pull fresh air into the rooms. Occupancy sensors on the fans turn up the speed when you enter the bathroom. Air vents are built into the windows to keep the rooms well ventilated. These are called trickle vents. The walls themselves were protected from air infiltration 
by testing at different phases of construction to find where tighter methods needed to be implemented and leaks sealed. Third-party testing was brought in to verify tightness using a device called a blower door. The test results were below the standard of five air changes per hour at a depressurization rate of 50 pascals. For you, the occupant, this results in a less drafty building and reduced energy consumption. It also means that you need to be aware of ventilation within your unit. If your unit feels stuffy, ensure your trickle vent is open. If you do not need additional fresh air, close your trickle vent. Because of the tight construction of the buildings, a pre-occupancy flush of each building was conducted by the contractor to remove any remaining pollutants from construction. Thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of your new, healthy, comfortable, resource-efficient home. Remember, your behavior directly affects the energy and the water use here. So be conscious of lighting, ventilation, temperature, and appliance use. We've installed these energy-efficient appliances for you, but you need to use them properly. We also need you to be our eyes on the ground. If you see anything that needs to be repaired, or if you see anything that could be done better, please let us know. Our staff are here to support you to live more sustainably.